decoding learning differences with Kimberly and Lavelle, and this episode is motivational responsibility. Now, this one you might be a little surprised by, but one thing I have found to be true is that when children have responsibility, genuine responsibility, they are responsible for the thing getting done or it doesn't get done, they're really motivated to do it because they feel that they are important. They feel that it matters. So again, this is another one where like the motivation stuff, it, it overlaps so much. Like I, a lot of times I'm giving examples of how it applies in parenting. It always applies also in education. There's it, motivation is motivation, right? So when you give your child genuine responsibility, they are more likely to rise to the occasion and accept that responsibility as, okay, I have to make sure that I get myself to school on time. Now, age appropriate, right? You're not going to expect your five-year-old to set an alarm, get themselves dressed, walk, you know, make their breakfast, all the things, walk themselves to school. Not that that wasn't an expectation at some point, but there is a point. I, I would expect a high schooler to do all of those things. The high schooler is responsible for getting themselves to school. The high schooler is responsible for figuring out how they're getting to school. They don't have to necessarily rely on you for a ride. You can say, hey, let me know if you want a ride to school. It's on you to get to school on time. Maybe you don't want to make sure, you don't want to give them an out. There's some problems, whatever. It can be the responsibility to make sure their assignments are done and turned in on time. Now, Huge caveat here, right? You're thinking, oh, my kid has executive functioning issues. Like, how is this going to work? Okay, to some degree, it can still work. You just have to sometimes put some things in place, such as they're responsible for making sure their backpack is packed in the morning, and you've given them a tool, such as a photograph of all the things that should be in the backpack, so that they have something to reference. And it is their responsibility to check the photograph to the backpack. And when they get to school and don't have the things, they know that they are, they messed up and it was on them to make sure it was packed and they didn't get it packed. So they're out. They're missing whatever they needed. It's a tricky thing. Think about it. Spend some time ruminating, journaling, however you do your best thinking, talking it out with a friend or a partner and say, like, think it, think it through. What is really a good expectation for my child? What can I put them in, make them responsible for around their education or around the home? What can they be genuinely responsible for? That I won't interfere, but there will be a natural consequence or a consequence that I'm not responsible for if it doesn't get done, such as at school, right? They're going to get an F because they didn't turn in their assignment or they didn't study for their test. You're checking in and giving affirmations about knowing that they're a great kid, but you're not checking in to make sure they did the thing or that they studied for the test. If you have a child who is capable of doing it themselves. If your child is not capable of doing it themselves, then you're going to to scaffold that in some way or find something else that they are responsible for instead that you think they really can be responsible for. And maybe it's as simple as, Making sure that as soon as they finished their homework with you sitting next to them, that they put it into their backpack one foot away from them before they stand up. Like that, (laughs) that simple thing. And you've got something in place to make sure that they remember that they checked. You know, maybe there's a note that gets put onto their backpack that gets removed once the homework is in it, like a little a little tag kind of that they, and they learn to do that themselves, that they put it on there, homework is out, they take it off, homework is in. So come up with something, reach out to me if you want any support in this, but think it through. There, there is something that your child can be responsible for themselves and it will help motivate them because it's, it feels good to know that people think you can do this yourself. It doesn't really feel good to, for people to think that you need them to do everything for you, including remember all the things that you should be able to remember yourself. Try to raise your expectations a little bit in a way that you're comfortable with the consequences, the natural consequences that will happen, and, and see what happens. And then maybe add a little more. See what you can do. Push yourself. 
So your takeaway today is that genuine responsibility can be highly motivating. Ooh, I have a typo there. Highly motivating. So genuine responsibility, as in you are not interfering, you are not the one giving a consequence. They are experiencing a natural consequence or a consequence from the school, someone else, right? It's their consequence, all on them. You're there to support them, comfort them, all the things but you're not there to do it for them, to remind them all that. So think about how you can do that. Just add one tiny thing in. What are your thoughts? Do you think this is something you can do? Do you think this is a terrible idea? I look forward to hearing from you. Kimberlyn at decodinglearningdifferences.com. You can also reach out, email me any questions you have about IEPs in general, um, special education stuff in general, dyslexia, dyscalculia, all of it. Reach out. If you have an IEP that you want me to take a look at and do a little analysis on for free, email it to me, Kimberlyn at decodinglearningdifferences.com. I'll use some little snippet of it in a future podcast episode, and I'm going to send you the episode before anybody else so that you have the information as soon as possible. I look forward to hearing from you again, Kimberlyn at decodinglearningdifferences.com.